Alain Vogue has been making ceramics every day for 30 years. It's his job and his passion. Bathrooms, kitchens, cars, boats, pianos, nothing safe from this mad ceramicist. This 1967 Ford Bronco is unique, but it's not its 330 horsepower V8 engine that makes it unique. This beautiful American car is quite simply covered with a ton of ceramic tiles. Inevitably, this 4x4 drinks gas, but for Alain Vag, the owner of this incredible machine, the pleasure of driving his creation has no price. Alain Vag uses ceramics more normally found in bathrooms and in kitchens. For him, this car is a work of art, but it's also a technical challenge and a calling card. So voilà, je suis en train de réparer cette voiture. So here I'm repairing this car. This car is a bath on wheels. That's to say it represents all that is most complicated in a bathroom. There's turns, dents, and bumps. It's very rare to come across anything else as complicated because even the most fantastic jacuzzi is less demanding than a 4x4. For me, this is a kind of moving laboratory, a test laboratory. Now, thanks to this, I have no problems decorating bathrooms. Alain Vag has been a ceramicist in Salerne for over 30 years. This small village in the southeast of France is the center of the ceramics industry. They've even found pieces of objects here that were made from ceramics more than 7,000 years ago. When he set up in Salerne, Alain Vag produced objects that totally respected local traditions. These ceramics gained a solid reputation for originality and quality and can be found in the most stylish houses. But Alan Vague has an artistic streak in him and the creative devil caught up with him. He took to putting ceramics into all kinds of objects that were around him or that inspired him. Each of his creations is unique. First he falls in love with an object, then it's an exercise in patience and dexterity. Alain Vag stops at nothing. He's done a fridge, an old television, and even a powerful racing boat onto which he put more than a hundred square feet of ceramics. Each creation enables him to immerse himself into worlds that he loves, such as the world of music. This piano is his masterpiece, took more than a year's work, and like all the objects he's created, it's in perfect working order. I feel lots of emotion when I listen to this piano because a piano that isn't played is not a real piano, and with these colors, yellow and green, the colors of Brazil, it looks like such an easy thing, but in fact it's the hardest and most technological thing I've ever done. Facile et qui est certainement la chose la plus difficile que j'ai faite, la plus technologique, parce que. That's because each key must weigh 10 grams, and making a 10 gram key 15 centimeters long in ceramics is very complicated. C'est très compliqué. Alain Vag's pieces are all unique. They're not for sale. He makes them for his own pleasure and to please his children and his wife Chakot, who has been his muse for over 30 years. We've had to tell people that it was, in fact, Alain Vague, but Alain Vague is Jacot. Those who know us, who live with us, or visit us know that Alain Vague is more often Jacot than me. That's his way of talking. Some talk through music, others through writing. He talks through his ceramics. It's his way of talking about his craft, but at the same time about himself and about all of us. So, if you want to walk around all day with two little tile bathrooms on your feet, then Alan is your man.